Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about an amazing way to ensure a continuous supply of fresh vegetables in your garden, self-seeding plants. These plants are not only easy to grow, but also help you save money on buying seeds. Imagine popping out to your garden and being greeted by a bounty of fresh, delicious veggies ready to be picked. That's the beauty of self-seeding plants. Let's dive in. Right, let's talk about lettuce, the king of salads. This little gem is a dream come true for any gardener, super easy to grow and a champion self-seeder. Now, when your lettuce starts to bolt, that means it's flowering and going to seed. Don't panic, that's exactly what we want. Let a few of those beauties do their thing, let those flowers mature, and you'll soon see these fluffy little seed heads popping up. The wind will do its magic, spreading those seeds around, or you can give them a helping hand by gently scattering them yourself. Next season, you'll have a whole new generation of lettuce plants popping up, ready to fill your salad bowls. It's like magic, but better, it's nature. Tomatoes, the star of the show, the king of sauces. Who doesn't love a juicy tomato straight from the vine? And guess what? They're brilliant self-seeders too. Now at the end of the season, when you've got those lovely ripe tomatoes, don't throw away the seeds. Scoop them out, give them a little rinse, and let them dry out on a plate for a few days. Once they're dry, store them in a cool, dry place, and come springtime, they're ready to be sown. Tomatoes are like little gifts that keep on giving, year after year. Basil, oh beautiful basil, that incredible aroma that just screams Italian summer. It's not just for pesto, you know. Basil is fantastic in salads, soups, and even desserts. Now, basil is another fantastic self-seeder, and it's incredibly easy to encourage. Just like lettuce, when your basil plants start to flower, let a few of them go to seed. You'll see these tiny little black seeds forming, and once they're dry, they're ready to go. Basil is a bit of a sun worshipper, so make sure it gets plenty of light and you'll have a constant supply of this aromatic herb. Ah, strawberries, the queen of summer fruits. Sweet, juicy, and oh so delicious. And the good news is, they can self-seed in your garden too. Now, strawberries have a slightly different way of self-seeding. Instead of producing seeds that you sow, they send out these little runners, like little baby plants on stems. These runners will take root and form new strawberry plants, spreading the love. So once you've got a few strawberry plants established, they'll do the hard work for you, multiplying and providing you with a bountiful harvest year after year. So there you have it, four fantastic self-seeding plants to get you started on your journey to a sustainable and abundant garden. Remember, Gardening is all about experimenting and having fun, so don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and see what grows. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gardening tips and tricks. Happy gardening!